Howdy, y'all. Joe Hills here, recording as I always do in Nashville, Tennessee. And as you can tell behind me, Zombie Cleo has created a starter house. Uh-oh. Why is that getting me rearing up to go? Because I, Joe, still need to establish one for my show. I am the last hermit who still has a ways to go on his starter home. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to play catch up. One of the fastest ways to catch up in any sort of technology or architecture is to steal ideas like crazy. There's a lot of smart hermits and a lot of creative hermits and also Ren and Doc and whatever they're up to. So how about we go and we steal a whole bunch of ideas and we build a house so that way Zombie Cleo can't lord it over me that she has a house and I don't. As we emerge from Asuma's portal here, he has quite the starter home in place. I like these little stairs. I like the portal. I like the spikes that deter intruders. You know, that's a good security system, you know. Um, I kind of think I want to do something a little bit more welcoming for my starter home, though. I do like this little trellis he has here with the trap doors and the fences. That's a great little detail. Now, I don't know if you could do this with other types of wood because the other trap doors wouldn't create the same trellisy effect, but that might be something to noodle on. Trellis, trap doors. When I think of my starter base, I don't think I want to do a lighthouse this season since we did one last season. But I do notice this stable has a very interesting entrance. Like, mechanically, I guess horses can't path through these uh, half slabs, but they can pass through the half slabs. So let's go ahead and make a new line here for stable half slabs. Okay, okay. Here is Hypno's wonderful little mushroom house i really like that it's got a welcome sign i like that it's made out of mushrooms i like that he's got some podzole around it to make kind of like a mulch kind of thing inside architecturally it's it's fairly simple but i do like that there is a bed with a headboard we've got welcome sign iron headboard we've got mulch from podzole I think that those are probably his three best ideas, because he told me he stole these lamps from Scar. And we gotta go steal from Scar next. Time skip! Here we are with our notebook in front of Scar's Lambo. We visited this earlier in the season, and you know what? There might be a few ideas that we can steal from it. Ooh, ooh, look at this one. Look at this one. Ladder on trap doors. So when we go inside here, what ideas can we steal? We've got storage racks with trap doors. That's a cool concept. Um, we've got sawmills to look like gears. That's cool. I don't know that I would want to do that for my build. But, okay. Ooh, bedroom control center. And lounge. Huh. Little Nice little couch there. I mean, this, this looks spectacular. But yeah, you know, when, when I think about, like, which of these ideas that I could just walk off with. Uh, trap door storage racks, sawmill gears. Well, you know, I, I really want to kind of visit each person's starter house and learn about their kind of philosophy and architectural wisdom. And uh -huh. then, you know, take those ideas and incorporate them into something great at my own base. Okay, okay. So... This entire base is great, right? But the best part about it is the gigantic slime face. Oh. And if I had to give you one recommendation that you should definitely, definitely put a gigantic slime base or slime face in your base. So all I'm saying. I'm, I'm going to write I, that I will, down. Um, I have a notebook here. So I'm going to write okay. Jev slime face. Okay. And then if you walk down this way. We've got uh, a pretty big sugarcane farm right here. Wow. I'm going to write yeah. down massive hit for farming. <laughs> yeah. Hey, one question. <laughs> I've not been able to get any nether wart yet. Could I trade oh, yeah, you some allium it, for some? No, no, no. It's fine. I have... I have I'm going to... um. I'm going to keep it honest with you. I stole those from X, so... Oh, okay. <laughs> so, you know, I'm, I'm going to put in my book here, stolen... Um, <laughs> stolen Ste nether Steal wart. items from other farms. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, see, but then when I plant them in my own house, yeah. it'll be an idea that I stole there as well. Go. 
I love the uh, texture on this. Did, did you directly copy from the creeper, or did you just kind of go oh, for Oh, no, no. Feel? This is what I like to call creeper feng shui. Um, so basically, uh, whenever I do this, whatever, any kind of build, like a pathway or whatever, mm -hmm. I'll just get the blocks and then place them one color at a time randomly. Like, let's say if I had gravel, I would place them randomly. Then go back and do the same thing again with another color and another color until we're finished. But... With the creeper skins, you kind of notice how the grays and the whites are, like, not as dominant. So mm -hmm. I did the darker green, brighter green, then the lighter colors, so. Oh, this is this is really cool. I'm writing this in my book, too. You call yeah, it Creeper Feng Shui. Yeah, all the way, bud. Creeper Feng Shui. Mm -hmm. We have arrived at Tango Tech's house. I got to say, I love several things right off the bat. I love how he uses signs to uh, kind of add a little bit of depth to this facade here. I like the way that he has a self-affirming sign here that says Tango is adequate. Because you know what? Tango is adequate. So let's put self-affirming signage. That That's a good one to have. Um, I like also kind of these supports and whatnot here. Like the stone supports underneath the wooden house it kind of really having having a different material for your foundation as opposed to your your main structure just really makes it feel quality so let's go ahead and put a foundation of stronger material and you know what while we're over here why don't we go ahead and visit Corrales's as well Corrales is Kroon? Corrales also has a, a self-affirming sign. Is Kroon good in Swedish or Polish? I don't I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. But ooh, look at these lamps. That's worth stealing. That is definitely worth stealing. Oh. Trap doors as as like i don't know if these are supposed to be shades or just because I, like i guess when the sun's at certain angles they would provide more shade that's cool Let's see we've got big glass windows i love the big windows Ooh, look at those diagonal windows from trap doors i don't even know how it, can you, I don't even know you could have trap doors like facing each other. Oh, they've got to be on opposite blocks. Ooh, 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 ooh. We're stealing that diagonal trap door. Yeah. Very nice. Okay. Corrales, thank you for taking us to school. Ooh, I also like the smattering of similar colored blocks. It just adds a splash of texture. I love it. Okay. Well, let's be on our way. We got a lot more places to hit. We are arriving now at B00's house. I do like that he has a big clock here. That is a cool element. He's got glass as well in an interesting way. Having climbed this mountain near B Dubs' house, I think we can zoom in now and really appreciate this a bit better. <gasps> Ooh, the glass is smoke rings from the chimney flower pots on brick for the chimney with smoke rings that that is a genius level b-dubs idea worth stealing oh i love that let's see what else i like the little awnings with the um open fence gates those are a really cool element so half slab awnings with fence gate support yeah, that is solid. Thank you, Big Eyes Crew, for a, a whole wonderful bouquet of ideas from which we might smell deeply. I better be on my way. We have so many more places to go. Time skip. Here we are at Vintage Beef's Chicken Hat Shop. As you can see, I got my chicken hat. Bok, bok, bok. No, I'm just kidding. It's just a random head on the ground. However, we are at Vintage Beef's base. His starter hut is a little bit less ambitious than some of the other hermits because he's been working on this thing. But 
if we go inside real quick, ooh, I really like the way that he put his wings metal above his bed. Um, I think I think that we can definitely draw from that. <gasps> ooh, is he using the smithing table as a floor tile? Ooh, I have not seen that done. Let's go ahead and write that down. So we're going to write down vintage beef, smithing table as floor tile, and wings award centered above bed. Ooh, yeah. Those are two solid contributions. So thank you, vintage beef, for allowing us to steal a bit of your intellectual property. I got my notebook here, and I am ready to take some notes about Wells Knight's cabin. He showed me this during HHH. He was especially proud of the blue terracotta roof. And you know what? Honestly, that is an idea worth stealing. Wells also showed off this ludicrously nice basement storage system. I, I like the underground storage element, you know? So maybe, maybe we'll put that in there. Underground storage. Yeah. But you know what? It's not just about what's in the at the bottom of your house. It's about what's at the top, too. So, you know, we need to steal ideas from every floor of Wells' house. Like, uh, extra netherite armor stand. Yeah, that's a good one. Core concept is there. And then, as we head upstairs here, I saw he has a to-do list with signs, and I love that. I love the built-in, like, to-do list wall. It reminds me of having, like, a whiteboard or a cork board. And those are always just great to have. So, I mean, we've stolen four ideas from Wells Knight in, like, 45 seconds. So, maybe we should get going before we get caught. Time skip! Here we are now in Iskal and Ethos base. Their starter house is kind of just this place that has been carved into the face of this cliff. It's a shattered savanna. And, wow. I really wanna steal the looking down element here. I love the elevation. I love the idea that I come out on my balcony and I can just look down at everything. Yeah, that's that's a good piece. Now, I also noticed they've got a lot of cool stuff with moss here. And I really want to do... Wait, listen. I think... See those purple trails? I think they've got amethyst crystal underneath the moss so maybe for an auditory element of our base howdy xp thanks for having me over hello Ooh, i gotta say i i already love this big glass diagonal window well yeah i mean like i got oh you know like oceanfront property i gotta be able to see it yeah, you know, where I'm looking at building actually overlooks some water, too. Nothing quite so majestic as this ocean, which somehow you seem to have caged. You're just like, the ocean well, will never you know, be free you, on my watch. You know, you're going to be out on the beach, kind of your own private island. You know, who's to say that, you know, you know, you don't need people peeking, right? So Oh, oh yeah, yeah. You, you need to get there? all that vitamin D from the sun, you know. Right. That makes sense. I get it. Right. Okay. Right. So yeah, <laughs> okay. I, I guess let's. I I like this bamboo wall. I don't actually have any bamboo of my own. Um, Help yourself. Could I Grab could some. I trade? Do you want some potatoes? Nah, go for it. You Grab sure? Some. Mm -hmm. Okay. It'll go. Back. Whoops! Might have accidentally harvested a bit of that there too. Nah, it's fine. But uh, <laughs> ooh. so I I might I might take uh take your little bamboo wall idea. And put that on my list, as well as that cool diagonal window. Uh, so the the bamboo wall was actually not really intended to be a bamboo wall. I was just growing sugarcane and bamboo, but I just left it. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. You know that's how it is a lot of times with starter houses, though. You know, right? And and, it should, and so it should feel like a starter house when I build it, even though we're six weeks in and right. vintage beef is already working on his mega base. You know, it should it'll be <laughs> fine. Um, I like and your then... uh how you're using the different type of blocks for the uh, door frames and oh yeah for the walls and stuff yeah 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 and then you yeah frame i did this that last it. season a little bit mm -hmm. but i and i really liked it so i figured i might as well keep it up 
Dang it, my, my push lo my push to talk button is caps lock, so I'm typing things and they're all caps. It's fine, I'll fix it later. Oh. <laughs> but uh yeah, and, and then, then this room the shop. Oh, this is your shop. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Got little axolotls down there. Selling glowing. Little like and glowing. Yeah, did you see the name of the shop? Is it Glow Incorporated? <laughs> I love <Glowing>. it. <laughs> yep. Oh, that's great. Yeah, yeah I didn't... And then, uh, simple storage. I was going to say, I didn't way. bring any diamonds, but wait, you provided an ender chest. Well, of course, so, man. If you have a shop without an ender chest, Yeah, so I think I need doing? to drop off three diamonds for two stacks of glowing, because I'm, I'm going to use okay. it. Yeah, it's good stuff. Like, I, I really like it, so... And then simple storage. Very cool. I like it. It, it doesn't need to be complex. Pretty much it, man. Like like I said, it's like I've been spending most of my time over at Horsehead Farms getting that going. So Yeah, I was just over there. It looks really great. So good luck to you with it's, that. It's a work in progress. Hey, man. <laughs> I thought I heard something. Uh, am I interrupting? Not at all. No, no. Welcome. Thank Welcome you. to the lab. Thank you. Do, do you need a post? Uh, you know, I realized I didn't have a uh, lead anyway, so hopefully it'll be fine. Okay. <laughs> yeah. As long as I can see me, it'll be it'll be okay. And it's gone out of you. <laughs> yeah, that's how it goes. Oh, uh, anyway, Zed, thank you so much for welcoming me to your starter home. Um, mine hasn't been started yet, so I need to s not steal any ideas I can, but maybe like glean from the wisdom of others in hopes of catching up quickly. I'm not sure how much wisdom you'll find here, but yeah, I'll give you a little tour nonetheless. Awesome. Thank you. Where would you like to start? I mean, this is your place. I don't know. <laughs> well, we could start here. <laughs> well, it's not too much to show, honestly. It's mm -hmm. this main big room. It's the laboratory, of course. Um, we have a few experiments going on. Um, the main one of note is the, the wool wall. Um, okay. With, obviously, all 16 sheep hung up on the wall there. Uh, if I flick this lever, you'll see... We harvest them all, Boop. Whoa. and we collect everything up all nice and automatically. I'm going to try and keep every single color um, of every single harvest tracked, so at the end I can see which which color sheep is the best wool producer. Um, that's the the biggest experiment I got going on at the moment. Oh, very cool, very cool. How, <laughs> how long are you going to run that for? Literally the entire season. It'll be probably the last episode that we uh, that we check it out. It does have to be slightly manually done, so because uh, we've got to wait for them to regrow their wool again. But um, but yeah, it's it's my favorite experiment so far. Um, there's a few other little bits and bobs down here as well. There's a mini one, mini experiment down here where you can you can ride the uh, the large head drawn collider. I, I'm not sure what I've called this yet. It's like a particle collider that kind of decapitates Whoa. you a little bit in a five. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel it in my neck, that rush. You definitely feel it, absolutely. Um, so yeah, that's just popping back and forth. Uh, what else do we have around here? A little bit of an empty room, beautiful views though mm -hmm. of the of the ocean, ready to be filled. Yeah. Um, th this is another uh, long running experiment. This thing is like a, a pitch drop experiment. So every hour, one of these uh, dropper pieces, lumps of, of pitch here, they go into this chest. So. You can see my base has been running for 63 hours now, um, non-stop. And again, planning the whole season to just see how long my, my base is loaded for and alive. Gotcha. Well, you know, I, I might have been contributing to that a little bit while I extended that path over there the other day. Well, there you go. Yeah, and that's the beauty of it. It's not just when I'm logged in, it's when the base is alive, so mm. to speak. So uh, we got that going too. We got uh, up the stairs here. We got... Some villagers going on. Um, above us, there's a there's a big five-story tower where there's a villager breeding. One stage on every floor. Um, so they come on down from, from carrots at the very top, breed it, bred up all the way down to babies, and then they end up in this little room back here um, where there's... They're like test tube babies. Um, yeah, oh, sorry wow. about the iron doors. <laughs> you got to get used to, to flicking the button. So yeah, you can stand on that and then trade with trade with that one, and then it closes back up again when you don't want to use it to keep them nice and safe. Oh, very cool. Will that actually protect them from zombies? That's a very good question, and that's something that science needs to figure out. Um, <laughs> so maybe I'll get a zombie in here one day to, to, to have that a go. But yeah, we can color code the, the test tubes, and I'm planning on having a whole massive hall of, of just all different, all different uh, villagers in here. Um, 
But yeah, that, that's pretty much all I've got going at the moment. I'm trying to trying to expand and build as much of this as I can um, to really get the science pumping. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, this was kind of my starter base, and I guess it's my my finisher base as well. Yeah, I mean, it seems like you're you're with these season long experiments. You're really committed to expanding this over time. Definitely, definitely. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Zed. I've got a few ideas I'm going to jot down in my notebook and take home with me. So appreciate it. Excellent. No worries. I hope you find your horse. Yeah, me too. So where is my horse? Well, I found Diamond Hooves all the way up there. He's just a natural born climber, it seems. Wow. Okay, that was a great tour from Zedaf. And when I think about what we learned, though, I don't know if I can fill my base with weird experiments. My starter house, anyway. Uh, cause like, I don't know if my place is going to be that big. So maybe, you know, um, I did, I did like a few things. I liked the, um, iron door buttons. Those were cool. Um, and I liked the zigzag windows. Yeah, I think that those were good. The experiments were very cool, but that's definitely more ZF's speed than my own. You know, if you're going to steal something, you don't steal the thing that's heavy and needs being taken care of, you know. Well, folks, here we are at Ren and Doc's little starter area. I want to swing by there, but as you can tell, the sun is getting real low. And I'm hoping, since they're over there, somebody will use a bed. I just don't want to get creepered over there. I've actually died off camera around their base several times due to mobs. So if someone will just use a bed. Oh, that is nice how the moon's behind that thing, though. That is, that is pretty. But, um, yeah. Any, anybody? B-dubs? B-dubs, you want to use a bed, please? And now it's raining. And now it's something else. Huh. It's hard to steal ideas when you can't even hear yourself think. I'm kind of believing maybe we should just not take any of this. Like, no. But yeah, sorry about that, guys. Sorry for the fear. Everything's fine. Nothing to see here. Oh, I have a great pitch about birch trees. Ooh, yeah, let's go. You're nearby. Okay. All right, you you can come visit me. Do you want to now? Yeah, if that's okay. I mean, we can keep ogling this thing. No, I'm, oh. I've looked at it enough. Right, I'm going to get I'll away from this. I'll leave you to your birch trees. <laughs> <laughs> All right, see you later. All right, thanks, y'all. I think there's a path over here somewhere. Ooh, paths, yay. I can't. No Wings Club. Are you No Wings Club? Yep. You're No Wings Club. I am. Perfect. I'm at 234, so I'm almost to the next uh, thing. Heck yeah. I just got my first one. Nice. Yeah, I don't know if Iskul knows where to put mine, because, like, I don't have a house yet. <laughs> I'm sure he'll find a spot. Yeah, hopefully. I'm surprised you haven't decorated this trail a little bit yet. Well, I thought I should leave something to Doc and Ren, but the more I'm looking at it, the more I'm realizing I should not leave anything to Doc and Ren. Yeah, you're just going to get more of that. <laughs> okay. This is my starter base, Joe. Mm -hmm. Welcome in. Welcome Thank in. You. I picked the amazing Birch Forest, right? It's cottagecore themed. We start off by passing by the stables here, which houses all of my lovely horses. We have these amazing custom birch trees oh i and love it custom trees by the way mm -hmm. very first thing i built on the server that big willow over there every good starter base needs a custom tree a custom tree you say you know i'm taking notes actually so i'll come over here and under gem i'm gonna put custom tree mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay that's good it's a good idea and right, uh right I, interestingly i see your home isn't built out of birch though it isn't. No, I keep, I keep, I do get a lot of critique for that. I am going to build my base o over there out of birch, oh. but I kind of wanted to go for a more darker wood for my cottage. It just mm -hmm. contrasts a little better. You know, if everything is birch, including the forest, doesn't work quite as well. It blends in. Interesting. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Um, 
So so you have the custom tree next to the cottage. You've got the dark wood. Mm -hmm. I've got cool. my swing, which Ooh. I love. Everybody who comes by loves hanging out on the swing. Do you want to swing? I would love come, to come, swing. Come, come, come. Woo. It's like a little parkour challenge, except doable. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. Yeah, this, this is my house. It's pretty Thank basic. You. It's got a little chimney. It's got two floors on the inside, and I've also mm -hmm. ended up carving out a basement, sort of, but that's not really starter-ish. Yeah. Inside's got just a basic kind of kitchen area, which I kind of use as storage, and then upstairs is more storage and a basic bed area. Really not much. Very but cool. But that's the job. I like it. Thank you. Well, thank you so much for showing me around. Now, one thing I don't understand about the name is like, what's the corporate element of Cottage Corporate? Well, Cottage Core is like, like a theme, not so much a, a corporation. Oh, oh, so the core, the core is like an Apple Core, like this. I suppose so. This you know, Joe, cottage you're is at the questions center I've of never a considered fruit. Before. Okay, mm -hmm. and then the whole yeah. base is the fruit. Sure. We could go with that. I get it. Wonderful. Thank you, Jim. So glad I could help. Howdy, Cub. Can you see me? Oh, hello, Joe. Greetings. Welcome. Welcome. Greetings. How are you Greetings. this fine, fine evening? I'm doing well, man. I just got back from the YMCA. The YMCA? <laughs> yep. I heard for young men, that's a place you can go. Yeah, I'm talking about the YMCA on Hermitcraft. You know there's a YMCA here? I know Cleo just built a gym over there, but, you know, I was going to pronounce it as a gyme to be obnoxious. No, what's the YMCA on Hermitcraft? Yeah, it's the, uh, people call it the YWC, but it's actually the YMCA. The, uh, Yes Wings Club. Are you, a, are you a member of that, or are you the No Wings Club? No, I'm actually in the No Wings Club. I'm up on day 294, actually. Oh, you're getting up there, man. You're getting up there. Yep, yep. That is pretty impressive. That is pretty impressive. Joe, uh, I got a, I got a proposal for you. It's the whole reason I came out here. Got a proposal for you. Uh oh. Okay. 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 I'm, I'm if need I you hear your proposal, my time has a value. Yep. Here's what I want in exchange. Can you give me a tour of your starter house after this? Uh, there's not really much to see. I got something even better I can show you if you want, though. If, if you, depending on your, well, if you want to take the deal. So he, here's the thing. Here's the thing is my entire episode right now is about visiting everyone's starter houses and taking different, uh, elements and incorporating them into my own. Like Iskol and XB had amethyst under moss. Isuma oh. had the trellis made of wood like this. Um, if you come down here, you know, in vintage beef's house, he had smithing tables as part of his floor. So I got some of those. I got this uh, storage racks from uh, Scar, and uh, this netherite armor stand idea from Wells Knight. Okay, yeah, I, I can take you to my base. Uh, I think there's some things you might be able to take from it, yeah. Okay, Definitely. cool, cool, cool. Then I will hear you out. Okay, okay. I'm going to need you to turn around, Joe. Okay? Okay, okay. All right, ready? What do you see? Snow. Oh, my goodness. It showed me an ice, like... It's it's actually like, whoa! What is going on? Am I inside of the snow? You're freezing. You're freezing because oh. you got powdered snow on you. <laughs> That's okay. New. Turn back around. Turn back around. That's new. Okay, Joe. This powdered snow block, right? This this is a rare thing. Oh, this is a wow. rare thing. I want I want you to have access to the, to this block, so I want you to join my collective. Ooh. Okay. So it doesn't interfere with the Elytra thing, though. No, 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 no. It's it, you can you can jump into it. You can move in and out of it, but no, it doesn't. It doesn't interfere the uh with the Elytra thing. No. I am happy to hear you out about this. Okay, tell me more okay. about your collective. Here's the deal: you get unlimited powdered snow, right? Uh, as many as you can get, as many as you can get uh, out there at the cauldron area for a donation of however many cauldrons you can afford to to spare. So I would pay you in iron for powdered snow. Well, you, you go and get and grab the powered snow, but we have a huge, like, vast, like, field of cauldrons that you can you can pick from. Okay. That, that have powdered snow in them. So you just go out, out there, pick some snow up, and then you're good. Okay. Forever. But, but you want me to donate cauldrons so you can extend the area. Yes, exactly. You got it. Interesting. Okay. Well, I got some sad news. I spent most of my iron on these smithing tables down here. Oh, but, these are expensive, yeah. Yeah, these <laughs> good, are not good point. cheap. Uh, yeah. Let's see, though. When I look I, at my smelter here, I do just now have 
three cauldrons. So where where'd you okay. go? Can I? Oh, just... I'm right behind you. Oh, there right you are. Yeah. Yeah. This is this is the least good room. That's the temporary room. Whereas like over here is the stable where I stole ideas from Asuma and Scar, which is a this lot is better. Nice, yeah, this is very intricate. I have to say. Like, there's a lot of, a lot of like, back passageways and stuff. I like this. I like oh, this. Thank you, thank you. And I'm sure that I could learn a lot from, from visiting your base, too. So, will that three cauldrons I just gave you get me started? Yeah, you're in, man. You're in, you're in forever now. Woo! So, here, here is this uh, powdered snow bucket. That's a complimentary bucket, but you can go out Ooh. there now anytime and, uh, yeah, get some powdered snow if you want it. I can show you. It's on the way to my base, so I can show you where to go. Awesome. Let's, uh, let's go there now. Okay, let's do it. This is where the... Uh, the tunnel is here. Oh, I've, I've seen this before, but I didn't know where it went. This is it, yeah. So, to get to the portal, or to get to the, the snowball, you gotta walk through this. You gotta have faith that you can make it to the other side. It's just two blocks, but it gets a little cold. It gets a little chilly. This is the first time I've ever seen that snowflake ice effect, and I love, I love this hallway. This is great, Cub. Thanks, thanks. Yeah, and then we just run all the way down this. It slowly becomes colder. You can see it's snowing in here, too, which is kind of nice Ooh, detail. Ooh, that is a cool detail. Gets a little bit colder as you go along. Could use a calcite there, too. Yep. Ooh, Very nice true. little transition height change. And then this this is the snowball drill right here. Oh, wow. Literally a giant pool of snow, and then see this right here. You just pick up with your bucket from the from the full ones. Okay. What if you, so? If you use the bucket on a partially full one, it won't break anything, right? Uh, I don't actually know. Let me try. Let's see. Uh, yeah, it doesn't do anything. Yeah. Okay, great. Because like sometimes, like with nether wart, I can't tell. It's like, is this the fully grown one? So I don't want to grab from a bucket that's like nine tenths full and break yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. But as you can see, as you can see, it's pretty full here. I'm also gonna put yours down over here, Joe. Woo! Uh, I'm already a contributor. From, you can pull from any of these, so mm -hmm. just put this down here after we clear a spot. Bam. There you go. So if if you want to come out here and contribute more, feel free, by the way, too. Certainly, so I can just uh extend this in any direction, basically. Yeah, just extend it out to the uh the like snow half slab type thing over here. Mm -hmm. Uh just extend oh. it out to here. Yeah. Yep. Very nice. Awesome. All uh, right. Do. You wanted to see the base, though, right? You wanted to see the base. I did. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go check out your starter house or starter area. Okay. Let's head there. Thanks, Cub. I will continue my quest to steal the very best ideas from the hermits next episode, starting with Cub Fan's house. He owes me a tour, and boy, are we gonna get one. Until then, though, you may have noticed that this episode was mid-roll ad-free. That's thanks to fifty dollars a month Patreon sponsor Winnie T. Ford. In lieu of that mid-roll ad, I will now read a haiku of my own devising. Snow falls here and there, collecting mostly right here. Why not take some home? Until next time, y'all, this is Joe Hills from Nashville, Tennessee. Keep adventuring.